In this video, we're having a look at markings on a road that would give telltale signs as to potential hazards that would exist when it comes to the surface of a road. The first one that we're looking at is grooving. Now, what is meant by grooving, as we can see in this photograph, are grooves that are gouged out of the surface of the road. This would happen when as is the case in this photograph, there exists a speed bump or a speed hum, and a vehicle approaches the speed bump at too high a speed. And so what happens is that the suspension bottoms out and the bottom of the sump, normally the drain plug, would make contact with the surface of the road and gouge out a section of the top. Now this could happen, as I mentioned, with a speed bump or speed hum, but it could likewise be either a dip in the road, a gutter, or a bit of a, a shallow section to the road. So as the vehicle passes over that dip and reaches the other side of that dip, likewise the suspension bottoms out and then gouges a groove into the road. Where you see something like this, then be ultra cautious because you know that this is a common problem. Now you can see with the speed bump that it's not clearly marked. Normally they're well marked with either yellow or yellow and black chevron lines, uh, but this one doesn't have it, and so we can see this as a consequence. So be cautious where you see these markings on a road. Know that this is either a very curved surface in the form of a bump or a concave surface in the form of a dip. Skid marks, something that's more common to us, and when it comes to skid marks, what we're looking at are skid marks uh, that come to be on the tarred surface as a result of an accidental set of circumstances, as opposed to skid marks that exist because of recreational use. Perhaps people are drifting on the road, uh, having fun uh, skidding their vehicle or motorist making donuts, whatever the case is. So this is different. The skid marks are where there's a dangerous area. So in this particular photograph, we can see that this is a fairly sharp corner it's not clearly marked this corner. There are no chevron signs to indicate that there's a sharp turn ahead. And so these motorists have accidentally come across this corner too late at, or at too high a speed and so have slammed on brakes. So where we see multiple skid marks that follow sort of a similar pattern, uh, then we know that this is a dangerous area. So if you're a motorist traveling down this road, you saw these telltale signs of the skid marks, then that alerts you immediately to the fact that there's a danger up ahead. Uh, in this case, a very sharp corner that isn't well and clearly identified. Now we mentioned on a corner in the previous clip, but yeah, it's another indicator. And this is, although there's a slight curve, this is not because of the curve. These skid marks exist here because of the side exit. And so if you've seen previous videos, you know this area fairly well by now. So what happens is that a vehicle is waiting to exit the side road here, the multiple lanes. And so what happens is that you could have a vehicle that waits and gives way to a vehicle wanting to exit the side road, but his visibility is obscured of any traffic traveling down this lane. And likewise, these vehicles can't see a vehicle wanting to exit the side road because there's a vehicle in the way here. So what happens is that the vehicle pulls out these vehicles are traveling down the road. At the last moment, they see this vehicle suddenly appearing in their lane, slam on brakes, and try to swerve out the way. So if we're traveling down a lane, something similar to this, we see a number of skid marks. So it's not just a one-off skid mark. Where there are multiple skid marks following sort of the same curve and pattern or straight line, then we know that there's a dangerous section up ahead. And so this would warn us perhaps of a vehicle wanting to exit the side road. The next road surface we're looking at are sand patches. And so perhaps it could be a bit of a barren or desert-like area. And so with the prevailing winds, uh, sand is blown across the road surface. And where we've got uh, patches of sand, that makes that road surface extremely slippery. So we've got to be cautious where we see the road discolored, indicating patches of sand. In this case, in this photograph, it's actually on a corner of a road. And so that makes it even more slippery and more dangerous. 
So be cautious where we see patches of sand on the road that we need to travel uh, much more cautiously, try and keep a straight line with regards to our steering wheel and also uh, not to either apply brakes or to accelerate when we're traveling over a patch of sand. The next one that we're looking at is flowing grit and I'll explain this. And so what happens is that where we've got say a burst water main, what happens is that as the water gushes out of the pipe, it undermines the sand and the soil that exists uh, surrounding the pipe. And as the water flows and it gouges out more and more sand, then what happens is that a hollow forms under the top and uh, a sinkhole would then develop, uh, hopefully not with a vehicle that travels over that tar section and so it collapses and gives way. But what I want to point out is that where we see this type of sand that exists on a road surface, so it's fairly thick, it's a mixture of sand and pebbles and grit, but you can see the flowing striation marks as the water has flowed fairly strongly uh, along or on top of the sand. So where we see this sort of scenario, sand, grit, and lines indicating the water flow, then we cautious because we know that this has probably undermined the sand uh, beneath the tarred surface. Now in this case obviously the sinkhole has already developed but you can imagine if that hadn't developed and the road was now level that we see this warning sign of this patch of sand then it's best to rather take another route. Then we realize hang on there could be a sinkhole that could develop. We don't want to travel over and be the unfortunate vehicle that causes it to collapse. So watch out for this on a road surface. And if we see this, then rather take another route and if possible, alert the authorities. Please like, subscribe and get notified.